What's up guys, Ryan here, and I'm filling in for Dave today because he decided to take the week off. I know, he's such a slacker. <laughs> in his absence, I decided to bring up an old favorite. Back when Ultimized Zulkin came out initially, I thought, oh, that'd be cool to mix with Heratics as we have a, a level 6 normal tuner, and uh, Hungry Burger happens to be a level 6. Uh, so with pre-prep, you can go into Ultimized Zulkin quite easily. Once Master Rule 4 rolled around and the Link's uh, kind of prevented you from using the main monster zones, the deck died. Uh, there's really no good way to go into Zulkin and then summon a monster without Link summoning first, and that just takes up a ton of resources. Uh, so now with the revision, uh, we can revisit this old favorite of ours. So let's uh, let's jump into the deck. I'll show you a couple of the combos and then uh, i got some replays for you. One other thing before we get started, uh, I have a limited edition t-shirt design, uh, Pumpkin Spice. So if you uh, do like that, go ahead and uh, click the link up in the, in the corner and uh, you can go get your own. All right, so this is YGO Omega and I uh, figured I would showcase some of that as well as um, uh, see how the recording of it goes. So this is the deck. Um, it's basically Dragon Link uh, with the rituals and the heretics thrown in. Uh, kind of the big combo would be going from pre-prep into Hungry Burger and uh, Burger Recipe with one of your level 6 heretics. So you can then immediately tribute off one from the hand, summon Labradoodle, and uh, and go into Zulkin. So that's kind of the reason we're using the, the rituals in any way. Uh, honestly, this is a meme build. There's no reason to do, use Hungry Burger, especially with the uh, restriction on dragons, with the guard dragons. So uh, Saphira would be, it would be the one to play. Uh, just replace these with Saphira and the Hymn of Light, and and basically uh, that allows you to go into a tomb as well. Whereas there he is, so you can go into a tomb with Saphira anyway. This is the meme build. Um, other things we have here are the uh, the rocket kind of engine. Um, being able to, to pump out a low-level rocket for either the Guard Dragons or Striker to go into uh, Boot Sector Launch, summons from the hand. Just to basically anything you can do to get your Romulus going. Because once you go into Romulus, then kind of the whole combo falls into place. Um, going from there, you can either search out your uh, Lance or Ravine, depending on if you opened up one of them. Lance gets Phalanx. Phalanx then helps you go into your extra deck plays. You can end on, um, in the process, you can search out any of your ritual pieces. So with Herald of Arclight, going into that to then either search out a spell to set for Zulkin uh, is really cool. You can also search out uh, Saravas. So if you wanted to have some targeting protection on your board. That's pretty much the main combos. Everything else is pretty standard Dragon Link stuff. That's the uh, the only weird stuff, I guess, about this deck. Um, one of the cool things I did notice, though, is if you do have access to Dragon Ravine uh, or a Tomb, is you can grab Galaxy Spiral Dragon. Uh, his effect is if there's two light or dark dragons on board, which there's plenty in the deck, uh, you can summon him from the hand or grave. He also has the effect to make everything a level 8. So what you can do is you can summon him and make Zulkin a level 8 after you've summoned your Crystal Wing or something. Overlay for number 38. So you can kind of utilize your level 12 Zulkin, uh, which is actually kind of neat. So I really liked that. Um, so let's uh, let's jump into some replays. I did just did a couple against the AI. Um, so nothing, nothing super crazy. The, the deck... Is probably is, is really not competitive whatsoever, but at least you get to see kind of how it works and, and what I was going for. Feel free to to make it work better. Uh, so this first one is up against the uh, the Salman Great AI. Uh, must be nice to open up with Circle. <laughs> Gets off his uh, his Gazelle and Spiny to go into Mirage Stalio. Brings up Jack Jaguar. Goes into Sunlight Wolf. Uh, and then we'll set a few traps and, uh, and end his turn. So the, the other cool thing about about kind of utilizing the Dragon Link engine is it can play through a couple disruption. I wouldn't say maybe maybe two, depending on what kind of disruption, maybe three. All right, so the Ash stopped the convocation, and then the trap destroyed the uh, the Heratic. Thankfully, I do have a backup again with the uh, with the rocket engine, so I'm able to go into Striker, 
search out Boot Sector, and then summon the second dragon to get into the Romulus play. There, Romulus searches out Lance, Lance gets the Phalanx, and now I can go into Link Cross and do some, uh, do some Synchro plays. Uh, Phalanx will summon the Martial Metal Marcher, which brings back the Phalanx, and then I go into uh, Helka Fibrax to bring out the Rose Dragon. That Rose Dragon, when used as Synchro Material, summons the other Rose Dragon from the deck. Unfortunately, the uh, Call by the Grave stops the, uh, the Herald of Arclight from searching out some, some ritual stuff. Uh, I'll be getting the Dr. Red. Let's see, getting, I think, back one of the... Uh, let me get back one of the, uh, the Heratics here. So, uh, at this point, the better play would have been keep the uh, E-Set in hand so that I could have discarded it with Dragon Ravine sending the Galactic Spiral Dragon and being able to overlay... Uh, what ultimately Zulkin and it for the number 38. So instead of having uh, what the E set on board, I would have had a number 38 on board, which mm, would have been either game or pretty close to it. No, it might have been game. I might have had game there. Combination of the uh, Synchro Dragon and uh, Heretic spheres that's pretty much there's nothing you can do about that i'm gonna top deck the spiral dragon so i can overlay for number 38 using ultimize Zulkin, and uh and now i actually attack for game all right game number two is versus the orcist ai i don't think he opened up particularly well so i was able to kind of capitalize on that um, again, this isn't really showcasing it going against actual players, uh, so it's, it's just kind of showing how it plays through a couple disruptions and, uh, and deals with boards. Uh, going second, able to summon the Tefnuit for free, uh, tributing over the Tefnuit to bring out the Labradoodle, and this is where I can go into a tomb and then grab Spiral Dragon right off the bat here. So now that's in the graveyard, that's ready uh, for uh, if I am able to probably draw into the combo pieces with uh, with Sarah Yuja, I can go into the uh, Ultimate Zulkin, Summon Crystal Wing, bring back the, the Galactic Spiral Dragon and overlay into number 38. That's kind of the, the end goal of bringing that out. Um, I think some other things you can get with a tomb, I think that's probably the best best target for it at the moment. Uh, so here is the you know standard Dragon Link our dragon plays nothing really spectacular about it um, but uh, the other interesting thing about arc light is because it's a, a synchro I can tune with it to uh, and the the rocket to make crystal wing for realsies uh, I can actually make that it's not just cheesed out with with Zulkin um, but yeah overlaying with galactic spiral and the uh, I think the, the Heratic there. So at this point I don't have game, so I end up uh, linking away for Heavenly Spheres, and then I have the Sarvas in hand for any targeting protection. Um, what I probably should have done at this point is right on the normal summon activated Spheres, to bounce it back and summon Goliath so that uh, he wouldn't be able to go into the extra deck at all, but I was kind of figuring I eh, might as well wait and bounce whatever link he decided to go into. So I activate it here. Bouncing back the Bardish and bringing out Goliath. Um, so he can't go into the extra deck at all at this point, and he tries to attack over being a dumb AI. That, but I can redirect with number 38 for game. And then this last one is against the uh, Dragoon deck. So this one is basically just Dragoon Turbo, just pump out Verte Anaconda and. Um, insight to search out fusion so i kind of know that the ai is going to probably shotgun the first thing that i activate um but it's not the worst negation if you do see striker dragon you're probably not going to want to let your opponent search out boot sector so i figured that was a pretty safe thing to uh, to negate uh, with pre-prop, I'm able to go into Zulkin using the Hungry Burger and Labradoodle Dragon as material. And then because Crystal Wing has that nice uh, attack boost when attacking a level 5 or higher monster, I'm able to get over Dragoon without uh, any problem. 
So at this point I figured I really don't think I can deal with another Dragoon dropped. So I'm gonna go into my combo, try to you know, see what I can draw with Sarayuja, try to end on something like either I could probably end on Boral Savage or uh, or number 38 to try to prevent that. Um, and then the Heavenly Spheres. To, I think I was going to bounce uh, Verte Anaconda with Heavenly Spheres, have the Arc Light, and, uh, and try to get into number 38 if possible. Didn't draw on anything really great on that one. Um, but I was able to go into, was it Boral Savage, I think, here? Yeah, so I uh, link away the Sarayuja for Heavenly Spheres, bring it back. So I have four negates and the attack boost uh, with the Arc Light on board. So that uh, O-Lion is just banished. Uh, and then here, if I had put the Arc Light into attack mode, apparently I would have been able to win right there. Um, but that is enough for game. So yeah, that's uh, that's the deck, and like I said, uh, if you did actually want to play this or see if you could do anything with it, this would be this would be the build. Um, I like being able to use Hungry Burger for dumb reasons, um, but again, Sephiroth would be the the better option because um, once Ritual summoned, you can bring it back for free, and there's just plenty of opportunities for uh, uh, for utilizing that. Uh, also, Hymn of Light does protect her, so you do have that as well. Um, being able to go into a tomb off of pre-prep is is quite quite good. I've I've liked Teradix for a long time. I've been playing the deck or started as one of my first decks that I played with. So uh, being able to kind of utilize Ultimate Zulkin, Crystal Wing, and and all that in in one deck again is uh, is really nice. So yeah, if you have any uh, any ideas on on where to take the deck in a different direction or what to, to use. Uh, that would make it better or you know, whatever work better uh, feel free to play around with that let me know in the comments if there is anything that you think uh, would work better and uh, remember if you don't troll the meta who will we'll see you guys next time